guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hello, welcome. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a fall makeup look using all drugstore and affordable makeup products. I wanna do something kind of monochromatic today. I'm thinking like orangey brown eyes, orangey warm cheeks, and then a peachy warm glossy lip. So that is what I'm thinking. We'll see how it turns out. I have lots of great products here. Favorites, holy grails, just good stuff. And I'm excited for this look because fall makeup is my favorite. Warm tones are my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoy. Grab a snack, grab your makeup, get cozy, and let's hang out and do some fall glam. So I have a new brow product that I have been so obsessed with. It's under $10. I also showed this in my Walmart haul and it's bomb. So this is the Oma Beauty One and Done Two-in-One Brow Styler. I have this one in the shade 08. And what I love about this is that it's so convenient, it's so easy, and it's great for like just everyday makeup or just in general. So you get a brow pencil on one side and then on the other side you get a tinted brow gel. The wand is perfect for being super precise with your brows and then I love the little tip on the pencil side because it's tiny so you can again get in there and really define your brows so I've been using this to outline and fill in the brows so I'm gonna start off with this and of course I'm just gonna follow along with my natural brow shape which I like to do first kind of just like outline and then I will just fill in the rest of the brows the formula is great and it's just such a convenient brow product honestly just having like the two products in one it makes it so easy for like day to day and it's actually really long wearing i've been really loving this i haven't really honestly been using that much pomade recently because i've just been using this And as I apply this product, I'm doing just really tiny little strokes because I don't want the brows obviously to look too harsh. And then I usually, if needed in the end, I will like touch them up or something, but I just like to do really tiny strokes. And then I'm gonna use this brow and lash brush. I picked this up from Walmart. This is just from the brand Equate. You could use any spoolie, but I just like to take like a regular spoolie and just comb through the brows so everything is nice and evenly coated with product. So now I'm gonna clean up the brows. I know a lot of people don't do this. This is very 2016. Do whatever works for you with your brows and your brow shape. We're all different. So I feel like saying like right from wrong when it comes to brows, I don't really feel like that's accurate because we all have different face shapes. We have different brow shapes. So do whatever works for you. I know the feathery laminated brow look is in. For me personally, I just, don't love that on me. I like a more full defined brow, but again, just do whatever works for you. So I'm gonna use my NYX concealer in a jar in the shade beige to clean up the brows. All right, just like that, brows are all done. Now I'm gonna move into eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start with eye primer first. One of my favorites is the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Base. This actually makes your shadows pop last all day, and I believe this is actually waterproof. Your eyeshadows will not come off until the time that you actually use makeup remover and take it off. So this stuff is really good, especially for the price. I think it's like under $10. I usually get this at Ulta. And then I will use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush just to blend this in. So today, like I mentioned, I wanna do something very orangey and I think I wanna keep the look all matte as far as the eyes. So I have two different eyeshadow palettes that I feel like could work for this look. I might dabble into both or I might just use this one from Milani. So first I have the Milani Ungilded Most Loved Mattes Palette. So this palette, I used just a couple of the shades yesterday and I was really impressed. They were very pigmented and super soft. The color story in here is gorgeous and I love that these are all matte. So also got this from Walmart. But I also have this LA Girl Keep It Playful eyeshadow palette. This one's in the shade Foul Play. And this is another really great palette. These LA Girl eyeshadows are so underrated. They're little nine pan shadow palettes and I love how small they are. You get mattes, shimmers, and these are like $10. The quality is so on point. So I really, really like these. But I think today I wanna use the Milani palette just to switch it up and try something different on my channel. Let's start off with this color up here, which is actually a lot darker when you apply it versus in the pan. This color is actually like the perfect transition shade. I like that it's a little bit more vibrant when you apply it versus in the pan. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Salty Caramel, which is a more deeper, warm, soft brown. And I'm gonna apply that right on the outer portion a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go back into 
that brush that I was just using from NYX, by the way. This is the, I think it's just called the traditional blending brush, but also got it from Ulta a few years back and it's one of my favorite blending brushes, but I'm gonna take that color with this and just really smoke this out. I'm gonna take the shade Umber in the Sun, which is a little bit more of a brighter orangey than the Salty Caramel. Similar kind of tone, but I'm gonna also just kind of layer these shades and just to really emphasize the orange and just add different tones of orange to the lids and in the crease. Then I'm gonna go into the shade My Daily Latte, which is a matte cream. And I'm gonna take that and I'll just start Packing that on the inner portion of my lid. This is just gonna add a little bit of brightness to that and kind of break up all the orange that we have. Now as I add that color, I blend out the edges of that with a fluffy brush just to make everything look as seamless as possible. I'm gonna take the color Sienna Sunset, which is literally a true like pumpkin bright orange. So I'm gonna add some of that also to the outer portion just in the crease just to really make that pop and I'm also trying to use as many of the shades as possible so I like to do this oh I love it kind of just makes it look a little bit more like burnt and orange I'm loving this I know the outer corners need a little TLC but I'm gonna add winged liner blend that out and once I do the face it'll all come together All right, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do some winged liner. This is one of the best, it's so underrated. And this is the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. This is like under $5 and it's literally the best liquid liner you will ever use. It's nice and matte and black. So I'm gonna do a wing. Let's hope for the best here. Now doing this on the other side, that's always a struggle, but let's do it. Wow, you guys, I'm like impressed with myself that I was able to do that so quickly. I was holding my breath, but this liner really is so good though. It is very easy and it's super precise. So you can really do like very pointy, sharp wings. You can make this thicker if you like, but you can also do very thin winged liner as well. Cause I know not everybody likes super thick liner. So with this little tiny brush, you're able to like really maneuver it however you want. And it's literally so bomb. And I feel like this is underrated and it is the best. I feel like this is the closest liner as of recently to the NYC liquid liner and I feel like everybody loves that liner myself included and I really feel like this is like the closest thing to that like honestly it's so good speaking of essence I'm gonna go in with the lash princess this is the green one this is my favorite one which is the false lash effect mascara this is like hands down my favorite drugstore mascara and this is actually a fresh one which I love so I'm gonna use this for the top and lower lashes of course I'm gonna do falsies today because we need some good falsies so I'm gonna use the LA Girl Neon Shockwave Eyeliner, and this one is in Blackout. It's just a traditional gel pencil liner, and I'm gonna use this to tight line my upper lash line. So I always like to do this no matter what kind of look, but I always say, especially when you're doing a dramatic look, you don't wanna see any gaps in between this and your eyeliner and your lashes, because then it just doesn't look as seamless, and you want the lash band and everything to look as dark as possible and this makes such a difference. And I love this liner. I'm gonna use a different color actually later on, but it's super creamy. It comes in a bunch of different shades and it doesn't smudge or smear throughout the day. So I have these lashes here. These are the Ilora Luxe Faux Mink in this style Baroque. And I actually picked these up from Marshalls, $4. But you can get Ilora lashes like anywhere, Walmart, Target, Ulta has it, CVS. Let's try these on and see how they'll look with this look. Oh, yep. Love. Okay, so these are the lashes I'm gonna go with today. It was either between these or this other ones from Kiss, but I like how these kind of taper on the ends. I feel like it complements the winged liner and everything really nicely. So I'm gonna use these with the best lash glue, which is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This is $3 at Walmart. It's the only lash glue that I've been using since like, I think like 2015. It's been a long time, so you can imagine how many bottles I've gone through of these, but it really is the best lash glue. It doesn't make my eyes sensitive. I love the little brush applicator and it's so affordable. Oh, 
Oh, I love these lashes with this look. Actually, like, in love. Eyes are all done. Now for the skin, I'm gonna start with some primer water and I'm just gonna use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is the Jumbo Bottle. I love this spray so much, it is my favorite. Just classic, traditional drugstore setting spray. You can use this before and after your makeup. I love this spray so much. Primer water is so necessary. And you can usually find the big bottle of this at like Super Walmart. And then this is gonna be my primer combination today. So I'm gonna start off with the Milani Glass Skin Peach Primer. So if you guys are familiar with the Milani Supercharged Dewy Primer, this is basically the same exact thing, except this one has a little bit less dew. It's slightly more natural, but it basically does the same thing as that one. It hydrates the skin while also just kind of adding a light glow and it makes your makeup last. So it's just a good base, honestly, for any foundation. I were completely right out of my supercharged one, so I'm just using up this one. I feel like the glow is not as intense as the supercharged dewy primer, but this is still really nice, and I feel like it makes your skin look really soft, plump, and supple, and just ready for foundation, so I really like this a lot. And you can see it just adds a light little glow. But that's pretty much all this does. It's not gonna fill in your pores, so normally I like to use this in combination with something different, like more pore filling, and today I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Matte Poreless Putty Primer, which is one of my favorites. And I'm actually gonna use the putty primer applicator. It comes with a little spatula so you can like scoop up the product and then you can just apply it with a brush. And I feel like when you do this, it gives you more of a diffused look because you can really press it in to your skin wherever you have larger pores. So I've really been loving this. I used to just use my fingers, which obviously you can do as well. But something about this brush it's so bomb. So skin is prepped, ready to go. Normally when I apply my primers, especially if I'm doing like combinations, I really want them to sit into the skin so that we get the full effect and the full result. So I normally will wait maybe like two, three minutes before going in with foundations. So today I'm gonna use the Oma Beauty Flawless in Real Life Skin Perfecting Foundation. You can find this at Walmart. I have been loving this for months at this point. I just love how much great coverage this has while also still being super smoothing and lightweight. And I have this one in Honey Honey T1. I cannot stop using this foundation. It's just so good. And I'm gonna blend this out with with my Equal Tools sponge. If you guys are interested in more drugstore foundations, I did film a video on like my top five favorites a few months back, so definitely check it out. And I do like face swatches and everything so you guys can see how the coverage is and the finishes, so check that out. So check out that video, but this is one of my newer drugstore favorites that I've been loving since like probably like the end of summer, I would say. Okay, now for concealer, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. It's such a good one. This is a staple in my collection. I usually alternate whenever I'm using like drugstore concealers. It's usually between this one and the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo. You do have to work quickly with it though because it can dry kind of fast. So I would recommend doing one eye at a time. Look at that coverage, you guys. It just melts into the skin and it is so pretty on the skin. Like I'm obsessed with this concealer. Then for the inner corners, since the sponge, I can't really get in there and be very precise with blending. I'm just gonna use my Elf Flawless Concealer Brush to blend that out. Look at that difference, you guys. It's just too good. You definitely don't need as much as I'm using, so do as I say, not as I do. Next up for cream blush, I have a couple different options that I feel like could work beautifully with this kind of a look if you're going for like an orangey warm cheek. Believe Beauty Color Me Blush in Tropical Sunset. This is a classic. It's a little bit brighter though, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go in with this today because it is more on like the coral bright side, but still warm and still stunning and it's extremely pigmented. This is what the color looks like. You can find these at Dollar General. Amazing, but I'm probably not gonna use this one today. I think I'm gonna go in with this one from Undone Beauty or you know what? I might just use the e.l.f. Putty blush because I feel like this would work as well. So this one is in Bahamas. I'm actually going to use this color because I think it's going to complement everything the best, but this is a great shade. And then the Undone Beauty 3-in-1 Lip to Cheek Palette is absolutely stunning. And this is more of like that burnt orange, like just toasty shade. 
blushed. Yeah, e.l.f. Putty Blush wins for today, so I'm gonna use this. Now with these, I see so many people mention that it picks up their foundation whenever they are applying this, and for me, I never have that issue, but I feel like using this Complexion Duo brush makes such a difference. So for a while, I was using this Real Techniques Medium Sculpting Brush, which is really good. I still really like it for creams. It's a little bit more dense. This one from e.l.f. is definitely much more fluffy, and it's rounded, so I feel like it picks up the product and just blends it out so seamlessly. So does this one from Real Techniques, but I like this one better for cream products. So this is pretty much all that I've been using for cream bronzer, cream blush. So I just swirl my brush in here and then I start tapping this upwards. I'm gonna actually skip out on cream bronzer today and I'm just gonna do blush. And that is it. I like this too because it is buildable. So you can always add more if you want more color. Okay, then to set the makeup, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light. And I'm actually gonna switch sponges. I'm gonna use the Camo Concealer Sponge because this one, you can really get in there and be more precise. The Eco Tool Sponge is great, but it's kinda of hard to blend things out under the eyes a little bit. And I'm gonna use this just on my T-zone and then I'm gonna use a different powder to set the rest of the makeup. I love this powder because it's like naturally bright and smoothing and it gives the skin a really light natural glow and it looks beautiful in pictures. But then to set the rest of the makeup, like the cheeks and just the outer perimeter of my skin, I love the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Press Powder. I've seen this going around on TikTok. Luckily, I have mine and I snagged it up a few months back, but this powder really is that good. It's super smoothing and it sets your makeup beautifully without drying out the skin. So even though it's matte, it's not gonna be drying and it's a great setting or like touch up powder. So I'm gonna use this all over the rest of the face. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna use an old favorite. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer, and this one is in the shade Medium. Then for powder blush, I really feel like I don't necessarily need this because you can still see the putty blush kind of peeking through, but I'm gonna be a little extra and add some more. So this one is the Profusion Blush 3 Palette, another one of my all-time favorites. I normally find this at Walmart. It's like five bucks and you get so many beautiful different blush tones. I normally will like mix these three or like kind of mix and match, but for today I'm gonna go with this shade up here, which is Punch, and then I'm gonna take Splendid. And I have been loving the Half Caked Duo Fiber Brush for blush. It's just, it's a little bit flat, but it's fluffy and I love the like stippling brushes like this for blush because it just applies the product so seamlessly. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of this and just apply that right to the cheeks a little bit. I really don't need much because you can still see that e.l.f. blush kind of peeking through. And then for highlighter today, I'm gonna use this one from Believe Beauty. This is the Radiant Finish Highlighter in Champagne Kiss. It's just a light gold. And I just did a little bit because I don't want too much. And the final thing that I'm gonna do for the face, besides set the makeup, we're gonna set the brows. I normally like to do this after powder because this is usually the time where I feel like they need a touch up anyway because they're like ashy looking and they have product on them. So this is usually the last step. I'm gonna do my lips now and then we can finish up the lower lash line. So I'm gonna use these two lip liners. We have the Milani Understatement Lip Liners. This light one here is in Cafe Olay and then the more deeper one is in Saucy Toffee. These two are such a pretty combination. It's such a smooth, creamy formula. You can honestly just fill in your entire lips with these. I'm gonna start with the lighter color in Cafe Olay. Then I'm gonna top that off with the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Bahama Beige. This is an oldie but a goodie. It is the prettiest, just like light, everyday beige. I love this color. And these are so creamy. I have literally been using these since high school. They're bomb. It's such a nice formula. It was so hard to find like an orangey kind of nude lip color at the drugstore. I have some other orangey lips, but they weren't affordable. So I figured I would just do something more brown. And I love these on their own. Honestly, you don't really even need to add a gloss because the lipstick is super creamy and hydrating. But I'm gonna add a gloss because I love this formula. The NYX This Is Milky Gloss in Milk and Honey. This is such a staple. These are a must in your collection. All the shades are beautiful and they complement so many different lip combinations like a lip liners, lipsticks. 
Now we finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into the Milani palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Umber the Sun and Sienna Sunset and just run that on the lash line. You guys, this palette is so good. Like this definitely exceeded my expectations. And then for eyeliner on the waterline, going back with the LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Liner. This one is in the shade Penny. It's just like a bronze copper. I love these. They have such a pretty finish and they glide on the waterline. I'm gonna finish off the look with some mascara and we are almost done. Okay, this is officially the last thing for the eyes. Sometimes the wings get a little powdery and there's some product on them like this. I don't know what happened here actually. I think I actually got some eyeliner off from the waterline onto the wings. So I'm just gonna do a little quick touch up with the Essence Liner. And I just messed up that wing, which is cute. So I'm gonna use that concealer brush that I was using to clean up the brows and it probably has a little bit leftover concealer on it. If anything, you could just add like a little tiny bit right to the tip of the brush. Then I take that and I just run that right under that wing. There we go. And it's kind of like a little eraser. So if you ever mess up on your wing or something, you can always just clean it up with a little tiny brush and concealer and you're good to go. Last but not least, Milani Make It Last. I'm gonna cover my eyes by the way because I don't want any of my mascara to smear. We're ready to go apple picking now. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually would love to go apple picking. And if I were, this is the makeup that I'm wearing. So that officially completes this full face drugstore makeup look for fall. I love the way this turned out. This is exactly what I had in mind and I just... I feel like everything came together really nicely. So definitely 100% recommend these products if you guys are looking for some new goodies in your collection that are affordable but amazing quality. And this Milani eyeshadow palette, this is going to be such a gem this fall. The tones, the formula, they are so buttery and creamy. And you definitely don't need to layer as many of the shades like I did to create this look because it's very simple, but I wanted to use as many of the colors as possible. And I always like to layer my shades to see how they do layer and how they blend. So I will definitely be doing more looks with this, but yeah. Check out these products, they're great, and everything will be linked down below for you guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me, and until next time, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.